Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Flama FS06 preamp pedal. Um, and this thing packs a lot. Um, it has uh, seven different amp simulators in it, and it is just, uh, well, it's just cool. Each one of them can be uh, two channels, um, and uh, it's easy to program, to save your settings. Um, so yeah, let's just plug it in and get into it. All right. Like I said, this thing simulates seven different amps, and so we're going to go through each one of them. The first one is the uh, is called the Deluxe Blue, and um, it is based off the Fender Blues Deluxe. <laughs> What's cool is that each one of these amps you can then tweak the knobs like you would a real amp. So if we want to crank the mids all the way up, it'll change the way it sounds. Crank the bass all the way down. This is going to sound terrible, but <laughs> I can't play chords. So yes, um, cool that um, you can adjust each one. Um, Second one we're going to, and you just push the select button in the middle, the light up one that's blue there, to uh, switch to the different amps. It's not always blue, that's a secret. <laughs> um, this is supposed to sound like a uh, Vox AC30, it's called the AC31. Amp 3 is called Coral Reef, and it's based off the two notes, sorry, two rock coral. I should read before I speak. Amp 4 is called Polex 50, which guess what that's based off of. Um, amp number 5 is called the Blue I-100 based off of a Friedman BE-100. Alright, Amp 6 is based off the Mesa Boogie Mark IV, and, oh, Mark V, sorry, again, read before you speak, <laughs> and it's called the, oh geez, MB 5th Gen. <laughs> louder, because the level on that one must be uh, saved louder, which I'll get into how to save stuff. And the uh, fifth one is called the HBE 5151. <laughs> Guess what this is based off of? <laughs> so yes, um, definitely a lot of versatility in the uh, amps, and you know you can tweak all the knobs on them and make them sound the way you want. Um, very, very cool, versatile pedal. Okay, how do you save your settings? All right, we'll go back to the first amp and um, just do a little. All right, that's nice, but I don't want quite so much mids, so I'm going to turn the mids down. This starts blinking, which means what you have uh, as your settings hasn't been saved yet. So now let's say I'm happy, and all you do is you take this middle button and you hold it down, and then the other button blinks really fast, and then that means it's saved. Now, turn it off, turn it on. That is um, that simple. That is that simple. That makes sense. Wow, three that's. <laughs> anyway, I'm babbling, of course. That is how simple it is to save your settings. Um, these, um, every one of these amps has two channels which is so cool. Um, but how do you access that? If you push the button, turns it off. Push it, turns it off, uh, back on, like a regular pedal. If you hold this down, you will see these lights around the uh, switch blink. Once those blink, now you are in two-channel mode. And if you push it, you see it went red. That is uh, means you're on the other channel. So here's my first channel. again until those lights blink and now you're back to your on off mode. Very very cool and very easy to use once you figure out, uh, once you get the hang of it. I'm gonna go back to two channels, go back to my other channel and 
adjust that down to, you know, a little more level, wherever you want to do it. Um, and then save it. Now that is my second channel. So yes, very, very um, easy to use and a very cool feature. All right, the Flamma FS06 preamp pedal. Um, I liked it a lot. Um, a lot of good uh, amp models in there. And um, the way you could tweak them all, save each one, save the other channel of each one. Just very um, versatile and easy to use. I was surprised how easy it was to, uh, easy it was to get figured out and to, you know, actually... Uh, well, you know, ease of function is definitely a plus in my book. I don't want to set shit that's too complicated. I need to get one of these. I really liked it. Um, yeah, this isn't mine. This is Chris Malone's. I borrowed from him. But, um, yeah, I definitely should get one of these because they are cool. Um, so, yeah, that is um, definitely, uh, they're not terribly expensive. I think they're, like, in the $60, $70 range. I don't remember for sure. But um, they are... Uh, Definitely worth the money. I, I enjoyed this pedal a lot. Um, so, uh, as always, if you uh, like it, to, wait, before I go, I gotta thank Hawk Rock for the stock and hat. Um, as you know, if you watch my videos, um, and if you don't watch them, damn it, <laughs> I'm always wearing a stock and hat, and um, the great guys at Hawk Rock um, made sure I had one with their logo on it. Um, I might have been the inspiration for them getting them, I don't know. You'll have to ask them. Um, <laughs> anyway, I can't thank them enough. Great rock station. Great, uh, you know, if you're into rock music, definitely check them out. They're, uh, they're online, so it doesn't matter where you live. You can check it out, um, hoprock.com. Blah, blah, I'm babbling. I know I do that all the time. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you like guitar videos, if you don't mind me babbling, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe, and, um, I'll see you in the next video.